one of the most high profile candidates in this election will be Nanda Nivekani in Bangalore South. And against him would be the BJP's Anand Kumar, five time MP. Quite a formidable battle this time, sir. I don't think because already Congress has run away from the battlefield. They have not appointed a prime ministerial candidate. And uh, these elections are national elections, they are not municipal elections. People of Bangalore, people of the country are enlightened. They are going to elect, they are going to vote to elect a prime minister, prime ministerial candidate. And their choice is Narendra Modi. Sir, but you have fought against high profile candidates earlier also, so will, but will this be different? Every election is a new challenge, but uh, I think this time across the country, like earlier, earlier we used to have Vajpayee wave and uh, this time it is Modi wave and uh, people are going to give a decisive mandate to Narendra Bhai Modi and uh, we are moving towards 272 plus that magic figure and to achieve that 272 plus Karnataka has to be 20 plus to make that 20 plus BJP has to sweep Bangalore Bangalore South, Bangalore Central, Bangalore North, Bangalore Rural, and Chikpadap. Sir, so apart from brand Modi, what is it that you are offering your constituency? The people of Bangalore, they know that whatever good has happened to Bangalore, it is because of the efforts of Anand Kumar. I brought International Airport, Greenfield International Airport, and uh, which is now named as Kempegoda International Airport. And when I was Urban Development Minister, I also sanctioned Metro Rail project for Bengaluru. With all, uh, Kaveri had become a big issue, and I persuaded uh, Sri Atal Bihari Vajpayee that he should sanction Kaveri, Kaveri fourth stage. And now we have got 500 MLD water additionally every day for Bengaluru. Sir, sir, Saksis has many fathers. I mean, every politician is now claiming that he brought the international airport to Bangalore. We've heard that from many people in the Congress, both in the state and the central level. I am really surprised because if it is Anand Kumar as civil aviation minister who decided the location of international airport as Devanali, not Pirdi, as earlier days, and who also prepared a memorandum of, memorandum of understanding and signed that memorandum of understanding with uh, then Chief Minister J. H. Patel and also as Civil Aviation Minister put it to the global tender. I don't know what other congressman can claim credit for that who has done nothing for that. And uh, Atal Bihari Vajpayee, for your kind information, also laid foundation to that international airport. So you're basically saying this election is all about national issues. So people are voting for you because they're voting for Narendra Modi, that's it? People have voted for uh, earlier also, people have voted to select a national government and they always felt to select that national government and to participate in that national government, the able and capable uh, representative is Anand Kumar. They have loved me and uh, first time in 96 when I contested, I won uh, with a vote percentage of 38%, but later uh, the vote percentage has risen to 48 to 53 percent. But sir, this is also, you're, you've been five-time MP, but this is also, you know, you're facing a serious anti-incumbency factor. Your popularity could be questionable primarily because four of the eight assembly segments in the Bangalore South constituency are now occupied by Congress MLAs. So do you feel that will affect your chances? I feel that uh, people vote differently for uh, different elections. Uh, if you do some uh, more research, you know that uh, in 1996, in 1998, in 1999, there were hardly one or two uh, BJP assembly members in eight assembly members. Only in uh, 2008, we had five uh, assembly members. Rest of the time, it was not even four. Is Brand Nandan a threat? I think... Uh, for the entire Congress party, for uh, UPA, brand Narendra Modi has become a big threat and uh, people are going to vote for Narendra Modi and in Bangalore South Parliamentary constituency per se, I am the defending champion and uh, uh, if somebody is telling me 
after winning uh, this Lok Sabha seat by people's blessings five times in a row that I am facing somebody. No, they are facing me. They are facing Anand Kumar. They are facing BJP. They are facing Narendra Modi. Therefore, you know who is the threat. But, you know, we are fighting a national election primarily on one major issue which is corruption. So, do you feel that in Karnataka, BJP will face quite an amount of difficulty, primarily because you do have, you you know, brought in back people like uh, Yadurapa, you brought in back people, you're thinking of bringing in back Shriyamalu. These are people who faced charges earlier. Yadurapa ji has the given pro-people government. He is a very prominent uh, former leader of, leader of Karnataka. People have accepted him like that. But at the same time, people are going to look at the larger picture. What is the big picture? What is the large picture? The large picture is the big, big scams and uh, corruptions of UPA government and uh, Congress government wherein the Honorable Prime Minister Manmohan Singh himself is in the dock. But we have seen that in Karnataka BJP, you know, we are not new to that. Corruption and scams. BJP Karnataka per se and BJP All India has always been crus crusading against corruption. but. We want to ask, what is that Congress has, uh, what is the, what is the action Congress has taken against the erring Prime Minister Manmohan Singh? You Manmohan brought back, you brought back people who face charges. So how can you be asking that question now? I think uh, that uh, if you see the history, that all these questions can be asked to UPA and Congress, from uh, 2G to other scam to Commonwealth Games to coal scam to. Damaji, uh, their corruption galore and uh, people know that this time and whatever people wanted to tell to us, they have told us in uh, 2013 Vidhan Sabha elections. But this time around, we also know and people also know that this election is about the national elections, Lok Sabha elections, wherein from last 10 years, UPA government is there and uh, UPA government misrule, misgovernance Skyrocketing, uh, skyrocketing prices and uh, scams, corruption, insecurity on the borders. These are all the issues. So, but whenever you have, your, your campaigns have happened, BJP's campaigns in different parts of Karnataka, I have seen that nobody mentions the issues of land denotification, the issues of illegal mining. People always talk about, yes, there are some populist programs, but not these issues, which are also core to the corruption issue. Shall I tell you one thing? If there are some issues, that issues is going to be Law will take course on, uh, take its own course on those issues, but the basic issue is people of Karnataka also know that Bharati Janata Party gave a pro-people government. We brought uh, first ever uh, agri budget. We reduced the interest rates to zero. We brought Sakal. We have done a lot of uh, pro-people uh, projects and programs in Karnataka. At the same time, people when. Uh, vis a -vis national elections, they remember NDA government, they remember Atal Bihari Vajpayee, good governance under Atal Bihari Vajpayee and they also know the track record of Narendra Modi as a tried, tested and trusted leader. So people should vote for you only because they want to vote for Narendra Modi, not for you as Anand Kumar? I told you, na, people have voted me five times under different leadership, means people have trusted me in different situations. They are voting me. And through me, they are voting Narendra Modi. And uh, uh, every time, for example, uh, first time when I contested, we got only 2,51,000 votes. And uh, this time, Bharati Janata Party got highest ever vote, 4,39,000 votes. That means Bharati Janata Party is increasing its vote share in Bangalore South. That endorses my nomination, my candidacy. But BJP has also been going strong in, in, in you know, talking about the Aam Admi Party because you have criticized Aam Admi Party very forceful. Do you now feel that they are a serious threat in Bangalore, in urban areas? People have rejected them. People think that they have run away from their responsibility in running Delhi government. And before people, they have three choices. Good governance, bad governance and no governance. Good governance is Atal Bihari Vajpayee, Narendra Modi. Bad governance is Manmohan Singh and no go no governance is Aam Admi Party. Sir, uh, at the same time, you know, uh, considering that uh, uh, Aadhaar is, I mean, uh, Nilikani is going to be fighting this battle, 
uh, this entire election uh, about the fact that you know he brought in the Aadhaar system, which is supposed to bring in a lot of transparency. You know how uh, credible do you feel that argument would be? Look, uh, while initiating the debate uh, in the parliament about uh, uh, census citizenship, I also mentioned about the Aadhaar. The uh, basic factor, the determination of citizenship, the citizenship is determined, not declared. And uh, if unique identity number and a unique identity card, that is Aadhaar is given to residents who are not citizens, which has happened, then it is a great threat to the national security. There are 300 of uh, crore uh, infiltrators, Bangladeshi infiltrators who have come in through Bangladesh to India and they have created a democratic a demographic crisis in uh, uh, Assam and uh, West Bengal up to Delhi, they are seeping into Bangalore also. If all of them get other cards, that's, that's a, a very, very bad thing for national security. Therefore, per se, Aadhaar card is not at all good for India and uh, Aadhaar card should be scrapped because number one, non-citizen should not be given card. Card should be given only on the basis of the citizenship. Number two, secondly, that data of these uh, individuals, citizens, you can't allow a foreign uh, company, a US based company, which is servicing Pakistan also to hold it. So, so that if is BJP dangerous. comes to power, so if BJP comes to power, you'll actually scrap the Aadhaar idea? Aadhaar has been scrapped, Aadhaar like project has been scrapped in UK, Aadhaar like program has been shelved in USA, Aadhaar like uh, program has been, has been shelved in uh, Australia. I think for the sake of India's security and uh, integrity, and uh, to watch safe each individual's security and privacy, that's the only way. You can't allow Aadhaar to continue. So a few years back, uh, BJP had also taken up this big issue of black money being brought back to India. This election, we are not really hearing that much about it. Why is it? No, no. Uh, Narendra Modi, in, uh, uh, in his address to the National Council of Bharati Janata Party, elaborated on uh, uh, black money. We are crusading against black money. And uh, Bharti Janata Party is in the forefront of uh, bringing back black money from uh, uh, foreign uh, banks and foreign countries. That to our uh, doyen, uh, Sri L.K. Advani ji, he had organized a Janachetana Yatra across the country. And uh, in the leg of uh, uh, Jan uh, Gujarat uh, Yatra, Narendra Bhai was thrown there. And uh, we are against black money. But scrapping Aadhaar as, as, as an idea, as a project, the entire project itself, is that really your BJP agenda that you are going to talk about this time? Look, even in the parliament and outside the parliament, we have said that Aadhaar is flawed. And Aadhaar is not based on citizenship. Aadhaar is being given to the residents whose citizenship is not determined. When the citizenship itself is suspect, giving such a unique identity number, and giving such a unique identity card is detrimental to the national security. And whatever is national security has to be totally scrapped. Right, so thank you very much and for joining us as well as good luck for your election. Thank you.